You got the wing of the jet. The wing of the jet is subjected to thrust as the thrust force of eight kilonewton from its engine and resultant lift L. I've got the lift here, which is 45 kilonewton. If the mass of the wing is M, which is acted at this point, that is the G point, and it's 21 mega. Uh, 2.1, sorry. And the mass is at center. Determine the X, Y, Z components of the reaction where the wing is fixed to the fuel large at A. So at A point, this wing is connected. So at A point, you need to find the X, Y, and Z component of the reaction force. So, gentlemen, draw the free boy diagram of the wing and then tell me the active and reactive forces on the wing. So first draw the fibro diagram of the wing. How many active forces have you got? Gentlemen, just tell me how many active forces have you got? Three. Three. And how many reactive? Six. 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 Okay. So that's how your three body uh, three body diagram looks for the wing. You've got the active forces, thrust, lift, and the weight. And you've got your six reactive moments because the wing is fixed with the fuselage. The wing cannot move in X, Y, Z direction and the wing cannot rotate in X, Y, Z direction. Now you have to do the question of equilibrium, sum of all the forces along X, sum of all the forces along Y, sum of all the forces along Z, and then you take moment at point A, and you get your values out. Is that clear to everyone? That's just easy. Once you've got your free body diagram right, then it's all about applying question of equilibrium. No rocket science. The rocket science lies here to draw the free body diagram. Once you get it right, and there's no issue for you. <laughs> 